I'm probably one of the few people that didn't resonate with Assemble with Care, a puzzle game by Us2 Games, the studio behind Monument Valley. It's a game about putting people's possessions and their lives back together, told through an impressionist art style and with an 80s-inspired soundtrack. While the message about repairing relationships is heartwarming, I don't think the gameplay and story drove home that message as well as it could have. You are Maria, a restorer of antique items who arrives in the town of Bellariva, where a festival is to be held in a few days. As you search for work and get acquainted with some of the townspeople, you'll soon discover that there's areas of their lives that aren't as perfect as they could be, such as a girl who just wants to spend more time with her dad, or a cafe owner trying to make a living. You'll repair their belongings over the course of the story, which is around an hour to 90 minutes in length if you let the voice acting play all the way through, but it could be completed in a faster time if you just read. The voice acting sounds like it comes straight out of a children's audiobook, which is to say it's great at bringing those characters to life as real, believable people. Assemble with Care also looks nice, with an intense but lovely blend of colors to sell the characters, objects, and places of Bellariva. All of the objects you'll repair in Assemble with Care are different, but the procedure of fixing them are mostly the same. Through Maria's eyes, you'll use a screwdriver, reconnect wires, replace parts, maybe use some glue, and other such actions to fix an object. In order to find every piece that needs fixing, you will need to rotate, remove, and switch between different parts to fix the items and assemble with care. Some objects won't have all of the components necessary to complete the repair until you have advanced far enough, far enough, excuse me, into that object repair. These take a few minutes at most, and aren't that challenging to solve. Each object tells a story, but you only get to hear about some of these stories after the repair is complete. Some objects, like a slide projector, tell a story not just through the actual repair, but in some of the slides that you see as you check to make sure that the projector works as it should. A music box plays a song that is important to one of the characters in the story. Other objects don't tell a story all that well. A Game Boy-like handheld in particular is one of these items that didn't sell me as an important item within the story of Assemble with Care. One of my tasks wasn't even a repair at all, but constructing a burner and by placing a pot on top of it, making a soup recipe for one of the characters during the festival that was being held. However, on accident, I messed up the soup recipe I was following, but I still passed. I replayed it twice more, mixing up different amounts of ingredients each time, and the outcome was the same. If Assemble with Care had more significant objects like the music box and the projector, and less of the handheld and rotary phones you fix, I think it would have been a tighter narrative and gameplay experience. I'm not a pundit when it comes to stories and narratives. I couldn't tell you what makes a story great or not. At best, I can probably tell you if I liked it or not. What Falls is mostly based on my opinion and experiences that I have had growing up. But I didn't connect with the story Assemble with Care wanted to convey. You encounter four characters within Assemble with Care, two sisters, and a father and daughter duel. The problem that I have is the focus is on family figures alone and I feel like it could have been more emotionally moving if the relationships weren't just kept the family members. I can see why this message would resonate stronger by focusing on families, as I can see people growing up with a sibling that they didn't get along with, a parent they didn't feel close enough to, or not having a parental figure at all. However, reconnecting could also be explored with old friends who drifted apart years ago, a relationship gone bad that you wanted closure on, a co-worker you may have wronged, or who wronged you in the past, or whatever else you can imagine. Those are some of the repairs that I would have liked to see portrayed in Assemble with Care, 
As my family relationship never got rocky enough for me to shut myself away for a prolonged period of time. Of course, this could be the story that us two games wanted to tell, and I foresee many people able to relate heavily with that experience. For whatever reason, I couldn't grasp on to Assemble with Care's message, which makes me a monster, probably stupid, or wanting an experience that is different from the developer's intent. As part of Apple Arcade, Assemble with Care falls into the argument that some console titles have gotten into regarding subscription services earlier this year. I enjoyed Crackdown 3 as part of Xbox Game Pass, but I don't know if I would have spent $60 at launch for it. Assemble with Care is a short experience that I didn't latch onto and offers little to no reason to return after completion. I'm not quite sure if it's even a game that I would have paid as a standalone experience. Sayonara Wild Hearts has the extra modes and replayability to beating previous scores. Word Laces has a daily puzzle. What the Golf and other games have a limited or daily challenge to jump into every day or so. These types of games have something that keep me coming back, but Assemble with Care really doesn't do that for me. I can appreciate short experiences if I can connect with them, but unfortunately, I think with Assemble with Care for me, it will be one of those experiences that I will forget about as time goes on, despite it not really doing anything wrong. Assemble with Care gets a 3 out of 5 from me.